What up, everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. I got a pretty interesting gift over the week that I was gone. And you can't, that can't be the way that I introduce this thing. Come on. You may have seen them in viral TikToks or whatever, but I have a set of Balasong. Fucking stupid latch. Balasong utensils. I've got a fork and I've got a spoon. And. I can't lie, these things are kind of awesome. Uh, my friend got this for me as a little gag gift for the little gift exchange that we normally do. And it actually, like, like these things are so much better than I thought they were when I got them out of the box. Out of the box, they're tight, and they, they don't feel like they're very well made or anything like that. And also, as I'm sure a lot of you have probably thought, they're most likely clones of something. But I learned... A lot of things actually when I took them apart and showed them to a few people and talked to a few people like Will and Brandon um, these are actually not as far as we can tell direct clones of anything I mean yes they have a very basic hole pattern and before everyone spams oh it's the Benchmade 42 the Benchmade 42 does not decrease these circles do not decrease in size as it goes up the handles and there's other little circles in there so it's not a one-to-one -one clone it's definitely adjacent to a lot of other designs, but it's not a direct clone, which makes me very happy because I can actually not feel like ethically bad about owning these and flipping them on blade bias or anything like that. Because I think they're so funny. I mean, like I, I'm not a clone supporter. Most of the clones that I own besides one that I bought before I really understood what cloning was, uh, most of the ones that I own are like gifts from friends. So I can't really control owning those. So it's nice to have a Balasong that is funny. It has a funny spoon blade. And it's also not, like as far as I can tell, a one-to-one -one clone of anything, which is very cool. Um, but the other things that I discovered is that <laughs> these things actually flip pretty well. Like, the spoon one in particular is very good. It helix aerials like there's no tomorrow. This thing, I would almost say, has a smoother helix aerial than my Nemesis V2. Which, my Nemesis V2 is what I learned to helix aerial on, and it's certainly a smooth helix aerial, don't get me wrong. But there's just something about it that it just doesn't flow as well between, between them. And yes, I know that's because this has way more handle bias, but still. Um, the spoon one also fans fairly well does rollovers and stuff like that fairly well. I can do most tricks pretty effortlessly on this thing. Besides, like fanning takes a little bit of effort, but everything else just kind of goes. Z chokers are the only thing that are really, really difficult to do, specifically because of the latch. But if you do them on the, the right handle, you can actually do a Z choker. So these, for a little funny, oh, Balasong spoon, it's like, the, this is a shockingly competent experience, especially for what I imagine to be like a $10 purchase. Uh, and then next up we have the fork, which you might notice a problem. If this is kind of at the very edge of what I would consider to be flippable for handle bias, then something that has a blade that is the exact same size but less material overall probably isn't going to flip much better. And you would be right about that. The fork is a thing. <laughs> It doesn't fan as well, has way more handle bias. Still helix aerials like a dream though. But the 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 funny thing is, it does it's not even as bad as other cheap like Chinese Amazon ballast songs that I've tried. Like this is still flippable, unlike my comb that is too small, and unlike my other comb that is so handle biased that you can't even flip it. Look at my collection video if you want to see those things on my main channel. But like these, it's a funny gag balasong that actually flips semi-okay. It's not great by any means. I'm not recommending everyone run out and buy one of these things because you'll probably be disappointed if you do. But if you're willing to waste 10 bucks, it's like, yeah, these check the right boxes for me. Especially because of the fact that like, it's, it's funny spoon and fork. How could you not be on board with funny spoon and fork? And fork is bent. Like, fork probably doesn't even work as a fork because it's all bent out of shape. 
they're just they're so funny and they're gag gifts but they're also like i don't have to feel bad about owning them because it doesn't seem like they're clones of anything hopefully um but yeah this is uh it's a pretty cool little gift that i got i'm actually very happy with them and unlike the other two clones that i own I might actually like flip these things in the future and I certainly plan on using them as actual utensils because how can I not? It's funny. It's so funny. The other thing about those is that because they're so thin and cheaply like made and they don't really, they have so much play and all that, they make any other Balasong feel like a dream. So my nemesis, which my main complaint with the nemesis is that the handles are too thin. If I flip this thing after I flip those, it's like night and day. These handles feel like Kraken handles, and it is awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It's a cool little gift that I got. I also have another cool little gift over here that we'll cover next time. But I think that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.